We are at Kleiner Schneidank, and here is where we begin the journey to Jungfrau, the top of Europe. All trains to the Jungfrau depart from Kleiner Schneidank. That is the one of the trains that would carry us to the mountains. Passengers changing trains here. What you see in the red color is the first class only train, which is goes to the Infrayu, and there are second class only trains as well. You can see the four coach first class only train climbing the mountain. It's a wonderful sight. It is uh, late April and the snow is still not started melting. Trains follow one another very closely on this route, maybe at less than half a kilometer distance. You can see now another two coach second class train going up the mountain behind the first class train. Infrayu can be reached only by train from Pineshaita and there are no roads. We have begun our journey now and it's a wonderful sight sitting on the window. Now you can see the view of the Planeshaidak station and the surrounding mountains of the Ega. This is a train that is going down to Lotterbarna from Planeshaidak. There's a series of tunnels and construction that takes you down to take you up to the Infra U. The entire railway was originally done in the early part of the 19th century. In fact, 1912 was supposed to be the date. Here you can see the entrance to the tunnel where the rail enters the tunnel. And the construction was delayed due to World War II and opened in after the early part of the World War II. The entire line is on meter gauge, cog railway, with a third wheel gripping up the mountains and electrified us. Now we have arrived at the first stop on way to that the Ega Wood, Ega Van rather, 9400 feet and wonderful views of infra view from the windows that are provided along the station platforms. You can see the glimpse of the train that took us there. It's a wonderful piece of engineering that has made this possible. Now we are trying to get a height on the cabin and managed one very successfully. And I'm getting into the cabin. And now you can very clearly see the third rail and here in the cabin, the previous cabin, cab driver of the electrical train set, which takes you to infra view. And you can see the visible tunnel. The tunnel is the highest mountain tunnel, which takes you to 11,362 feet. And the peak of Umbra U is 13,000. And that's the map of Umbra U. And that's the Sphinx watchtower through which you claim to an elevator. And here we are on top of Europe. Umbra U in Switzerland. A wonderful place. It's part of the Bernese Alps, a series of mountain peaks, the highest being at 13,642 feet, covered with ice, thick ice through the year and provides a fascinating holiday and one of the most visited sites in Switzerland and in Europe. Umfrayu, 
that's the watchtower, the views from the watchtower. You can uh, also, the helicopters do take you there on the top of Europe for skiing purposes. There's another part of the watchtower. People go up there for skiing. And that's the, an Indian restaurant at the top of Europe. It's called Bollywood. You see the helicopter which brought us tourists to near and for you for skiing. You can see people skiing there. Jungfrau, top of Europe. Series of bicycles, yes.